Hi guys, so in this video I'm gonna be talking about my story and how and why I got started in bodybuilding. So I started competing not too long ago. My first competition was back in November 2019, almost two years ago. But I started lifting back in 2009 when I was 17, 18. I'm gonna tell why I got started lifting in the first place. It's kind of like a funny or maybe a little bit sad story. I was always very skinny growing up. Growing up in Brazil, it made it very tough for me because the beauty standard was of curvy women. There were many times that I heard things like, you don't look like a woman, you look like a child, or you look like a boy, or the classic, go eat a burger. But the thing is that I was not starving myself, I was just naturally skinny, and that made me overeat trying to gain weight, and it didn't work. So, uh, I was eating a lot and I was eating a lot of junk food trying to get the extra calories in. So, I was probably doing a lot of damage to my health. It seemed that the more I ate, the less weight I would put on, which makes absolute no sense. But I think I just had a very fast metabolism because I was so young and I was also, uh, I had a tendency to be very skinny, I guess. I started college and they had this freshman party that I went to and one of the things that they did at this party was they would put all the freshmen one by one on this little stage and people would be shouting nicknames to them based on their appearance or something like that. I remember my friends that I had just met, they would be put on the stage and their nicknames all were related to something good about their appearance. When it was my turn to get on stage, all the nicknames had something to do with me being too skinny and short because I'm 5 feet tall. Outside, I was laughing, trying to, you know, play it off and not look like I was upset, but deep inside, I was really upset with those comments. That's when it was there was this sparkle on me that I wanted to put on some muscle and put on some weight and that's when I started going to the gym is this a good motivation? I don't know all I know is that it worked and in the end I ended up finding something that I liked so it was good unfortunately I don't have any pictures of the phase when I was super skinny and I got started at the gym because I was really self-conscious about my body so I didn't like taking pictures. The closest thing that I have to show that how skinny I was is this picture, but I think I was 13 years old, 14 years old in this picture. I think I was working out for two years when I noticed that I wasn't really making improvements, even though I was eating a lot, and so that's when I started seeing a doctor to know what was going on. The doctor didn't say that I had any issues, but he still prescribed me a medication that I took for around three months and that's when I started seeing some weight gain and I also started improving the loads that I was lifting at the gym. That's when I started seeing some gains when I started putting on some weight. And my ultimate goal back then was to look like I belonged in the wellness division. Even though the wellness division hadn't been created yet, that was the beauty standard in Brazil so most women that lifted wanted to look like that. But I didn't know what went through looking like uh, it belonged in the wellness division. I was aiming for that, thinking that I was going to get there with just hard work and it's not like that. My genetics did not allow me to get even close to that. I think it was maybe after four years that I started lifting that I realized that that was not possible for me, that I wasn't going to achieve the look. So I just started focusing on looking my best regardless. I wasn't dieting back then. I was also going through college, so it was a lot to do at the same time. I was just focused on trying to hit the gym four times a week. And for some time, I think it was around 2014, 2015, that I 
decided to join CrossFit. I think it was the best thing that I did because that made me let go a little bit of just trying to look a certain way, just trying to look like somebody else and just trying to like maintain my weight no matter what. And that's when I started eating healthier and I let go of my looks and I was more focused on performing well. I did CrossFit for two years. I never aimed to be really good at CrossFit, honestly. I did one year of CrossFit in Brazil and then I moved to United States and I did another year of CrossFit after I moved to United States. That's when things started getting weird for me. Moving to another country, it's a cultural shock and the fact that I couldn't work and I didn't have much to do in the first year because I was waiting for my documents to come. That added to the fact that I totally changed the way I was eating when I moved to United States. I was eating Nutella on a daily basis, which was just crazy to think about. And I was eating at McDonald's multiple times a week. And I think that all combined made me get into a very bad phase of my life. After two years of CrossFit, I went back to the gym. But since I wasn't doing so well, I wasn't really taking the gym serious as I did in the previous years. And that's when I met my first coach at the gym and she told me about the bikini division in bodybuilding. I was super confused when she first told me about bodybuilding because so far all I knew about it was Arnold Schwarzenegger and I was super confused when she said that I could do well. And that's how I started prepping for my first show. I had very low expectations going to the first show. Still, I ended up winning novice overall and first place open at my class. I was really surprised. For me, it was really an awesome thing to go back home with three trophies because I had never been good at sports, so I had no trophies at all. A few weeks after that I went to my second show and I ended up winning the overall open there. I was like, well, I, maybe I can really be good at it. <laughs> That's when it really hit me that for the first time in my life I could be competitive at a sport doing what I like to do, which was beauty muscle. I didn't start building muscle because of a bodybuilding competition, I just did because I liked it. I ended up liking the process of going to the gym, of seeing my body change, lifting more weight. I didn't like dieting in the beginning, to be honest, because I didn't do that for most of my life. Most of my life I just went to the gym, but I didn't worry so much about what I was eating. But with time, I learned to really appreciate it, especially now that I'm doing a flexible diet. So now I really enjoy preparing my meals and leaving everything ready for the week. But at first, I was following a meal plan, so I didn't like that at all. Local shows, I went to competing at a national level. So my first national show, I placed third. Second national show, I placed third again. Then third national show, I placed Four. I felt like even though I was getting good results because I was placed in, in the top five, I felt like I wasn't close to getting first place yet. So that's when I decided to reach out to Power Vela and see if he was willing to be my coach. The first show we did together, I didn't place very well. We were trying to bring something different. I tried to increase my weight for the stage and I don't think they just liked it. I placed 8th and then for the next show we made adjustments, we cut calories, dropped the weight and then I placed 2nd on the show and then on our 3rd show together that's when things happen and I placed 1st and that's where I won my pro card. So now I'm really excited to compete for the first time on a pro stage. I haven't had my pro debut yet, re-aiming somewhere around May, but I look back and I'm very grateful that I came across this sport. I'm very grateful by the people that got me involved and introduced me to this sport. When I came across the sport, I was not in a good place in my life. You really 
helped me a lot. It really made me care about my health and my diet again and go back to the things I loved. I feel like it continues to help me. I was able to do many things that I would never think about doing before and get out of my comfort zone, and travel to places, meet new people. And yeah, I'm very happy that I got to know bodybuilding and that I got to compete at it. I'm really excited for what's coming next. And yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and see you next video. Bye!